Okay, this is a quick personal video um, for me and all my friends who are at Weight Watchers because I just joined Weight Watchers a little while ago and I'm making new friends and um, it's no coincidence Oprah's involved that I'm chuckling now because, ah, she's in my life! Um, <clears throat> again, so, no, I just uh, started this journey to move into a better me, I guess, and... Uh, um, here I'm talking about this. I want to, I want to get to the bottom of why I eat and why why I've chosen that, what it does for me, how it helps me deal with my life, how I've chosen that to feel love from. <clears throat> and and as I was making the video just previously, I was had flashes of food come into my thoughts. And now I'm wondering how many times a day I have flashes of food come in my thoughts. I mean, maybe people get a lot of thoughts about food all day long. But maybe it's when you act on all the thoughts that tell you to eat stuff that you know is detrimental or going to hurt you, that you act on them, and maybe then we end up getting hurt, hurting ourselves by eating too much, believing in all the stuff they tell us about food and what's good and what's not. Oh, anyway, I just wanted to get to the bottom of why, like, I'm so hungry for something right now, and... I want to give myself something wonderful to eat because I'm very proud of myself right now. I just did some good videos, allowed God's energy to come through me. And um, so all that frequency has been pretty high. And I've been, I've been staying on my program all day. Uh, so I just, I want to have something, oh, wonderful and great that would make me feel so satiated, so satiated and Oh, so full of myself and so maybe the food to match the feeling or the energy I'm feeling. Or maybe the idea that to eat something fatty or too many carbs or something is is uh, and um, is saying thank you. For what you've done or what you've been through or I don't know certain foods just make you oh I'm gonna I really want to eat that uh, I wonder if it's just a thought or do I really want to eat that and I hear the thought and I go oh well do I really want to eat that do I really want to go out and buy a pizza yes or maybe I'm supposed to go buy a pizza maybe that day I'm supposed to go buy a pizza because I'm supposed to be there to meet somebody and I end up meeting somebody and we exchange information or, you know, run into an old friend. So maybe some days you are supposed to eat pizza. <laughs> so maybe you should listen to that and do that if you're being guided to that. I wonder if you stop yelling at herself whether it would be easy to lose weight. That's the one thing I, was, I found. I really have an inner voice that yells at myself if I eat the wrong thing. And I really scream at myself. I really make myself feel bad if I eat something that, you know, well, maybe I shouldn't, or that's a treat. And I really yell at myself, you can't eat that, what are you doing? You shouldn't be eating that, why'd you eat that? And it's like it yells at me, oh, I know I shouldn't eat that, but then you eat it, and it's like, you're an idiot. Why, why, why would I eat something so I could yell at myself for being stupid for eating it? kind of takes away the whole joy of giving my inner child something nice to eat. But I think it's when I keep feeding her because she feels bad all the time and keep feeding her the wrong things. I hurt her. I hurt her with that. So maybe I need to talk to my little girl, my inner child, and find out what she needs. Like, why did she need to eat to feel good because maybe there's not a lot of options for her to get good feelings from in her environment. 
So the feeling that she got best was from eating, and it took her out of her pain. It's the only she could she only had access to sugar. Yeah, that's it. And sugar is a good stimulant, and it it's uh, an addict. You become addicted. So. I guess my addictions from sugar started really early. I'd get up in the morning and get my own cereal and I'd have alphabets there. Mmm. <laughs> and then I'd have peanut butter and jam toast. I was, you know, a little kid. That's what I made. That's what I ate. And I know I ate a lot because <clears throat> I was looking for uh, love. And someone to care. Protection. I was in fear. So food became my friend. And it's been my friend all my life. Sometimes a little too friendly with it though and I take on too much. Maybe because I've been hurting too much. Maybe because there's been too much for me to handle in my life. And you just get to a point and you can't be the good girl anymore. And you can't handle it. And you're trying to balance and make everyone so happy that the only way you can find any happiness to be seen, to be validated for who the light being that you are is that you just, just have a temporary fix of, oh, this feels good, so all I have time for, I can eat this and I can go. It just makes me feel good. It helps me cope, gets me through it. It gets me through the invalidation and being invisible. Because, you know, you look at uh, most people, a lot of people who have been overweight, and they're happy, they're nice, they're friendly, and, I, I, and they seem to be of good spirit, a good nature. And yet, inside, they're, they could be really angry, really hurt, really sad, and really alone. Why, why, why are they eating? Probably, you know, everyone's got their own reasons, but there's so many signs that we're lonely. And what's really great about going to Weight Watchers is that when I go to the meetings, I'm not lonely anymore. There's everyone in that room is, it has a shared common interest, feeling, bond. Yeah, I used food too. I used food too to feel good. I used food. I used food to feel good. And for some of us, I, I used food so I could stay alive. And it's been your life preserver ever since and to give up food be, would be to learn to live a different way and let go of that good friend that gave you all that comfort all for all those years whether it was pudding or bread or, or chocolate or whatever you accessed on it doesn't matter what matters is that Changing that pattern of, of abuse means changing how you react to it, how you react to your loneliness, how you react to the hurt, whether in cause, caused by others or whether you're doing it to yourself now. It's being able to change that pattern. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hurt you and give you this because it'll make that little child inside you stop crying. So you feed the little child what it asks for because you're trying to give it love that it never had. You're, you're listening to it. You're obedient to it. You hear it and you give it what it wants. And then perhaps it's like you move into that grown-up that is truly going to love that little child by saying, you know, I think we need to make better choices of what we put in our mouth. And there's no hurry, like you don't have to hurry to do this. Like just start becoming aware of, of what you're eating. Start writing it down. Start, start figuring out how much fat or sugar you're putting in your body. Just 
Try and bring that into your awareness. Uh, and that's uh, that's what I like about Weight Watchers. And I, that's how I lost my weight before and why I came back to it. It was because I can live with it. Like I, I, When I went join Weight Watchers this time, I stopped playing the game. So I stopped going, oh, I'm not going to skip dinner just so I weigh, and weigh in tonight just so I... Maybe you know, I wasn't good this week and I didn't drop a pound or two or maybe I gained so I'm not going to eat dinner and going to go over and get weighed first. I you sure sure you did that so you'd be lighter because you're so scared your numbers would be climb or you wouldn't lose weight. I stopped playing that game because I realized, oh wait, <laughs> if I can't teach myself <clears throat> how to better manage the food I put in my mouth, it's 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 just... I've been doing that pattern for a long time and now it's time to break the pattern because I just want to feel better, that's all. I just want to feel better about myself and how I look. So I stop yelling at myself every day that I don't look like I want to look. And I pretty much yell at myself every day. Every day. That I'm not thinner than I am in that was a pattern I picked up because um, I think my mom yelled at me enough every single day that <laughs> enough for both of us about how I looked so I think I got that I picked that up so if I can let them go and stop yelling at me and that little girl because she has a need or she's lonely or she's crying or she's she just needs some attention want to give that to my little child, my little girl. Because there's sadness. There's sadness in my little child and I just want to listen to her and I just want to hold her and tell her that she's not alone and that we're going to take our time but we're going to slowly teach her to like new things that are better for us, that taste good and we're going to take such pride in ourselves that we're going to prefer eating good things, healthy things over things that were hurtful and it's a process, it's a process, heck I've only been going a month and a bit. so. I've just got to start relearning and re-educating myself about that. And I will. I will. be. And the tough part is there's, there's a, a lot of emotions that go on, along with overeating. And I think that would maybe what scares a lot of people from seeking help and going to a Weight Watcher meeting. I guess the first sign of self-love is I'm going to take myself there. And the second sign was, I'm going to promise I'm going to come every meeting. I'm just going to come every meeting. I made a six-month commitment. I'm just going to go every, night, every Tuesday for six months and <laughs> just see what happens without trying to change myself or without trying to uh, push it or force it. I'm going to let the awareness of it and the energy that comes there and the people there inspire me and see if I can't make a change in me and break a pattern for me. <laughs> break a pattern. And I'm going to give a, allow it time to take place in my life and I'm going to allow myself to fall back. Even if tonight of all nights I had to go in and make pancakes for dinner, which I, I would never do, but my little girl should love that. <laughs> hmm. If she wanted that, I'd give it to her, I guess. But I know I'd be back on my program again tomorrow because I promised for the next six months I go. So I just want to feel good about myself that I can, and I've got that good girl thing in me. 
I don't know, maybe that's why Weight Watchers is always, is also, it's a, like a classroom thing. When I was in school, I was smart, and I I, th I, I believed I was, and I, I loved being the good girl, and oh, I, you know, I know the answer to that teacher, and I want to do this. I was an achiever, I was a go-getter, I wanted to please. I wanted to, oh yeah, I want to be top of the class. There was just, that's, maybe girls are like that. Smart girls, I think, are like that, and... Girls that didn't never thought of themselves as smart, maybe you need to look again. Maybe you're a smart girl, but you just haven't been acting like a smart girl. <laughs> yeah, maybe smart girls go to Weight Watchers, huh? <laughs> that would be the place they'd hang out, I guess. Because they're smart enough to figure out that they've got to make a change and they're doing it. Congratulations, that takes courage. It takes courage to say I need help and I can't do it alone. And I need help and I can't do it alone because I've tried and nothing's happened and I've lost no weight for years and years and years. But I've lost over five pounds now in a month. Slowly but surely. And just let, just let it happen without trying to push anything. Just watch it. Just allow it. So, there I am, just talking, and I swear to God, it sounds like a Weight Watcher commercial <laughs> of what I ended up talking about. Maybe that's okay. Maybe Oprah's leading us in a good way to eat. Hey, eh? did you ever think of that? Yeah, maybe that's it too, and it's not a bad idea. Maybe there's a lot of good programs she'll implement, eh? Let's hope so. Because I think God's going to bring her a lot of good people to help her do that. In our new time, in our new age, in our new aware.